this video we will discuss the problem swap bits uh, so problem says that you'll be given a number x and you'll be given two positions from the right side in the binary representation of x you have to write a program such that you swap n bits at given two positions and you have to return the result let's try and see the sample test case so if suppose that the sample test case is given to you as x is equal to 47 so let's write the binary representation for it so binary representation for it is nothing but 0 0 1 and then 0 1 1 1 and 1 right so this is the binary representation you have been given a number p1 as 1 and you have been given a number p2 as 5 right so this is 0 this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 right so that means that p1 will be what p1 position will be this position right and you have been given a number n is equal to 3 so if you have been given n is equal to 3 so you have to consider this particular part right 3 uh, bits if you have been given p2 is 5 so this is nothing but p2 is 5 right 1 2 3 4 0 1 2 3 4 5 right so this particular position now n is equal to 3 so you'll consider this part now what you have to do is you have to swap these things right so ultimately the final number that you should get is all the bits should remain the same but you should swap this set of bits like if this uh, bit was 111 was there towards the left side so now in the new representation 111 should be here and 001 should be here right so this is what you want ultimately the problem says that you will be given p1 and p2 and you have to take n is equal to 3 and you have to swap this much bits right so if this is 111 so it should uh, come to this part and 001 should come to this part so it should swap right let's talk about uh, the some of the properties of bits so you know that if uh, a bit is 0 and you do and with 1 so you get 0 if a bit is 1 you do and with 0 so you get 0 right so this is the concept of unsetting a bit now if i'll talk about another thing that is uh, or operation so 0 or 1 gives me nothing but 1 right talking about the uh, or operations so 0 or 0 gives me nothing but 0 1 or 1 gives me nothing but 0 1 or with 0 gives me 1 and zeros or with one gives me nothing but one right these are the basic properties now you can also use this uh, zor to do the swapping concept how let's say that you had this part uh, that is what this 001 as a and this 111 as b right now let's try and uh, see what you can do so basically if you have a is equal to let's say 001 and you have b as 111 right so you can take a variable let's say c where the value of c is nothing but a or b right so what you can get is you can get 1 1 and 0 right you can get c as this thing now once you get c as this thing so you can easily see that what you can do is if you have c as 1 1 0 and you do zor with 1 1 1 right so what you get you get 0 0 1 right that's how you can use this uh, swapping concept because this was what this was uh, nothing but c this was b so that's how you can get a so if you want, you can change your b to this value, right? You can say that b is equal to nothing but uh, b or c, and then you can get this value, right? And similarly, you can get a, right? If you have one one zero, so what you do is you do or with zero zero one. So what do you get? You get this thing, right? You get b. So that's how you you can get things swap. Now let's try and understand what you can basically do in this particular question. So what you can uh, observe in this question is let's write the representation once again if it was 0 0 1 and then 0 and then 1 1 and 1 and 1 right so if I'll talk about this particular segment first of all so let's say p1 was 1 right so what you can observe is if you want to have that particular number right so first of all you'll be considering this particular segment and note down that you have to do this uh, problem using bit manipulation in order of one time and order of one space right so if you have, if you have this particular number right so what you can do is you can generate the very first number right so if you want to get this particular segment right so what you can do is first of all if you want to get this particular segment right so basically you want to get 0 0 0 0 and then 1 1 1 right this kind of number you want to get because you don't want to get this part right so for that what you can do is you can use the concept of right shift right shift operator right if you do the right shift part so you can easily get down this thing right if you do let's say the number is six if you do right shift with p1 so what you can get is you can get it like this zero zero one zero one 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 right this part and this part will get removed right basically it will get uh, right shifted by one so this particular bit is gonna get uh, left out right now once you have this particular thing so what you have to do is you have to unset all the bits right you have to use the unset concept because one 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 is what you're gonna need 
but this part you want to make as zero right all the set bits you want to make it as zero now what is the concept to make the set bits as zero uh, so what you can do is if you have let's say a number is one one zero right so this is number is what this number is four now what if i do minus one so i get three so what is three three's representation is nothing but zero and then one and then one right if i do the and part so what do i get i get zero zero and zero right so that's how i'm gonna get this part like this part done because let's say if the number was nothing but seven right if the number was seven if my number was seven so uh, seven would have been what one 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 right because one two and four so seven would have been one 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 now if i want to uh, unset all the bits right that i do not require so let's say if this was six so six is what six is nothing but uh, gonna be one one zero because one two four right so if i have this one one zero so what do i get if i do the and i get one one and zero right so that's how you can set and unset bits using this particular concept so what do you require is you are basically required to have this bit as unset right so basically what you can do is you can raise your number to this particular power and you can do the and operation with it and you can get this particular bit as zero right so if you apply the uh, if you do this particular raise to this power and then what you do is you take the and so this particular bit will get unset and you'll get zero 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 and then one 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 right so this is what you're gonna get now once you get this part so what do you want do you actually want uh, this thing do you actually want uh, if i'll talk about this part so let's quickly talk about this part right so the first segment that you have is this part right you basically have one 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 now do you want one 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 to be here no you don't want one 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 to be here you want your one 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 to like this part i'll highlight so you want your 111 to be here right you want your you have 111 but you want it to be here right so what you will do is you will right shift you will basically whatever representation you have of it whatever your presentation you have in c you will require to left shift right you will re be required to left shift it and the moment you left shift this part so it should it will come to this part right so let's say you have uh, you have this these values right you have 111 and you have 001 right so what you can do is you can do the left shift part and the moment you do left shift so 111 will come here and then 0 0 0 0 and 0 and similarly what will happen is another part as well like this particular part so if you want to get this particular part right if you want to get this particular part come here so you can do the right shift once again so it will get like this right so that's how you're going to get this part and 111 here right and then you can apply the zor operator so if you will see So if you apply the zor operator considering all the other values as same right so this will be what let's try and quickly see what will happen if you do this thing so once you get the bits as swap so let's say this was 001 right and this was uh, 111 and this was 0 and 1 same right so let's uh, quickly highlight so this particular segment and this particular segment right now if you do the zor operator once again right if you do the zor operator so what do you get you get nothing but uh, this as 1 you get this as 1 this is uh, nothing but you get it at as 0 right and you get this as 0 this is 1 this is oh, like uh, this is 1 and this is 0 and this is 1 right now you can see now if you will do the zor again so you will get what you will get the number right so that's how you on a you're going to get basically you will have this part but once you will uh, zor the bits so your target this will come here right this this is going to come here and this is going to come here right according to the sorting part let's try and quickly implement this particular question so what you will be doing is you will be first of all storing the a and b right so you'll have unsigned you will be using unsigned int to do this particular operation so what you will do is you will have unsigned int a is equal to nothing but x right shift with 1 and then what you do want to do is you only want this particular segment right you don't want the other bits that are set so for that what you can do is as i told you you will take a power of that particular number and then you will uh, subtract it with minus 1 right so what you will do is one you will do one and then what you will do is you will take n right you will uh, produce this number and minus 1 and you will and it with it right and then what you will do is you will have unsigned in b which is going to be nothing but x right shift 
52 right and then what you do is you take the and right you take the and one u and then you left shift with n and then you minus one then you do minus one right so you get the number b now once you have got these numbers so what you do is you take the zor right you take the zor you do unsigned int uh, c is equal to so you do unsigned but c is equal to nothing but a zor b right so once you have done this part so your C will be get stored, right? Your C will be get stored. Now, what do I mean by that? So if you have this thing, right? If you have this value, basically what will happen is 110 will uh, get here, right? Uh, let me try and uh, tell you what will happen. So basically the thing is that C is what? C is gonna become nothing but uh, 001 and ZOR111. So that is nothing but 11 and 0, right? So 110 here and 110 here, right? So what are you gonna get? So the swapping concept will occur here. Why? Because this is gonna become what one one and one once you do the zor and this is gonna become what this is gonna become nothing but zero zero and one now you can see that this part comes here uh like uh, i'll try to explain it so this part this particular part you can see that it comes here and this particular part comes here right and rest of the bits remain the same so that's how the swapping concept will occur now as i told you that this particular uh, part needs to be so that's why you will be required to do the left shift as well and do the OR operation, right? To make generate that particular number. So C is gonna be nothing but C, right shift it, P1, and you take the OR operator, right? You take the OR operator. And what you will do is C, left, uh, left shift, P2 as well, right? So then, then you will get the number. And then you simply do what? You take, uh, let's say, unsigned and int. Basically, let's say result is equal to nothing but the number x and you zor it with what you zor it with c to get the resultant number right as as we have discussed so you return the result let's try and quickly compile this particular code to check whether it works or not seems to work on the samples let's try and quickly submit it so you can see that the question has passed all the 115 test cases so this was uh, this is how you do this particular problem right uh, basically you uh, have c and then what you do is you left shift it p1 times and p2 times right so that you can get 110 here and 110 at this particular position and once you have them so you basically have x and you have this so you do x or c to get the required resultant number right and for doing this since we are using the bit operations so it is going to be nothing but the time complexity is going to be nothing but order of one and the space complexity is also going to be order of one because we are not using any extra space thank you